This is the 2020 Math Kangaroo, levels 9, 10, problem number 27. In each of the squares, a number is written so that the sums of the four numbers in each row and in each column are the same. What number goes into the shaded square? Let's start by marking the number that goes into this square as being x. If the number there is x, then the sum of the numbers for this row must be 1 plus x plus 6 plus 3, which is equal to x plus 10. So looking back at the problem, we can see that the numbers are written so that the sums of the four numbers in each row and in each column are the same. This means that if we mark the number here as being x, the sum of the numbers in each row and each column of this 4 by 4 square must each be equal to x plus 10. And this is very important and we'll be using it throughout the solution for this problem. Now let's take a look at this column over here. We have x plus 2 plus 7, so that's x plus 9, plus an unknown number here, must be equal to x plus 10, because again, we found that in this square, every single row and column has a sum of x plus 10. So we can figure out if we subtract x from both sides and subtract 9 from both sides, we can see that our question mark is equal to 1. The number here must be 1. Now let's take a look at this column. We have 3 plus 8 plus 4 plus question mark is equal to x plus 10. So 3 plus 8 plus 4 is 15. So we have 15 plus our question mark must be equal to x plus 10. Well, if we subtract 15 from both sides, we will get that our question mark must be equal to x minus Five. So in this spot, we have x minus 5. Now let's take a look at this row, which has the gray square we're looking for. We can see that I'm going to mark the number in the gray square as being question mark again. So we have question mark plus 1 plus 7, so that's plus 8, plus x minus 5 must be equal to x plus 10, because again, we know that the sum of each row in each column is x plus 10. So we can subtract x from both sides, and then we will get question mark plus 3 is equal to 10, and then we can solve for question mark and find out right over here that the question mark must be equal to 7. The number there is 7. This is answer choice C. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos.